Welcome, Mama. <laughs> Stephanie has made it. Hi. Now, we know that today is a big sacrifice to leave your newborn child, but we appreciate so much you making the effort to be here today. So, you do have a key to the safe? So, we can, <laughs> we can have a raffle today. All uh, right. So, the tickets that have been locked up in the safe, uh, we weren't able to access. Uh, so we're glad that you actually made this sacrifice today to come. We appreciate it so much. But we're so proud. Our church is growing. And Stephanie yes. and Cynthia have a newborn baby. And uh, we're just delighted, looking forward to the day when uh, he's able to come to church and celebrate with us. Now, they've done their part. What about the rest of you? <laughs> I'm just saying, we're, you know, yeah, get busy. There we go. <laughs> Well, today it's a delight to welcome a very special guest with us today, Reverend Dr. Joyce Reynolds. She is a motivator of one or a thousand, and truly we've experienced that motivational energy down through the years. She's not a stranger to any of us here at City of Light, for she's been a guest speaker here, and we now have to acknowledge her as truly family, and that she's, we can say, welcome back home, because we're delighted to have her here as our guest and sharing that wonderful power of an attitude of gratitude in our lives. Very apropos for this Thanksgiving season. And I know without a doubt that what she shares today is going to challenge our hearts and uplift us, taking us to a new understanding of the power of gratitude. Would you welcome Reverend Dr. Joyce Reynolds as she comes at this time? Hello, everyone. Yeah, I'm so glad to be here. It's such a beautiful and wonderful day. I'm so grateful. I am so grateful. And I hope that you, too, find gratitude in this day. Every day when I wake up in the morning, the one thing that I say is, thank you, God, for this day. And I say, thank you, God, for my life. And I mean my life. All the good. And guess what? all the not so good. And when I think about it, and I think about this month, this is the 11th month, we're coming to the close of a year. And we formally, we formally have Thanksgiving. There are many, many ideas about what Thanksgiving uh, is all about. And I noticed that there were a table of men who were discussing that. And one was saying about the Indians, and they weren't a part of it. And somebody else was saying something else, and somebody else was saying something else. You know what? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. But the point is, gratitude matters. You're going to find out something. I think if you will t decide right now that this is the 11th month, and this is the month when we, we notoriously have Thanksgiving, and we notoriously look to good coming into our life uh, in the future, what we want to do is we want to be grateful for the past. And here is something else. I, had a, I, I, I really realize that sometimes we're not grateful for the past. And I want to give you a little story here. I saw a woman recently. She came for consultation. And she had books in her hands of all of the things she'd done in her life. And she brought them in. And she was there to find out about the future. Only thing is that all she could talk about was the past. And it wasn't so good. And I said to her, put those books down. I don't want to see those books. And I tuned into her energy because energy is information. Let's not forget that. Energy is information, and I tuned into her energy, and that woman was still living in the past. We are grateful for our past. But gang, we are not our past. How many want to give a hallelujah amen to that? <laughs> we are not our past. But the marvelous, marvelous thing is that the past has created us. The past has created us. 
I never got stuck in the past. If you might notice, I'm not using a cane. And if you might notice, I had used a cane for six years because I had problems with both legs, several surgeries. But I said to myself, thank you. The Christ in me is my strength to move forward, and I will dance again. And I'm dancing again. Do you see, we have to be grateful. Grateful for what was, because what was brought us to where we are. Now, when I think about my past, I think about my mother and my father, and I no longer see the things that I criticize them. I see the good in them. I see the good in my children. I see the good in everything. And guess what I'm doing? On an energetic level, I am taking an energy, and I am pulsating that energy throughout my body so that I can have life anew. And so can you. As we go forward, as we go forward into the new year, we have, now we have the 11th month, then we have the 12th month. And somehow the 12th month just seems to fall apart into celebration, celebration, celebration. You heard, Pastor. He's got us going till the new year. <laughs> so what do we got? We've got this, this time where we can be grateful throughout the year. And then, you know, the first two weeks of January, you're sort of listless. Well, I set all these goals. I don't know if I can work out. I don't know. I, I'm planning on it. But then it hits a new year, a new life, a new way, a new me. I am grateful for this day. I am grateful for the new. I am grateful for all that is. Now you may want to do as it talks about in the secret. Get yourself a gratitude book. There's more to gratitude than just saying the word. When you are in gratitude, you're saying, complete. I'm complete with that. I am so complete with not being able to walk. Thank you, God. Thank you that you work in every cell, fiber, molecule, atom, organ of my body to heal me. It was the, the Christ strength that held me up. And the Christ strength always holds me because I have the 12 powers of God, the 12 powers of, powers of Christ in me. And don't forget it. Alone you are ego. Oh, hi, I'm it. You don't know. I know everything and you know nothing. Is that the ego? The ego wants to be right. All the time. All the time. And guess what? Christ can dissolve the ego into nothingness. Ooh. Nothingness? Yes, nothingness. When you sit down at that table for Thanksgiving dinner, whether it's turkey or a TV dinner, give gratitude. Give gratitude and say, thank you, God. Now, the next time you take a shower, stand in that shower and feel that water on your body. 
feel it and say, thank you, God, that I have water. There are others in the world that don't. Now, here's something else. When you began to set up new laws and principles through your thoughts, your feelings, your perceptions, your ideas, you'll have a new year. If you do not set up new thoughts, new ideas, new images, you will have the same year. Or perhaps the same last five years, condensed into one year. It's up to you. It's up to you. But sitting down at that table, that's a ritual. And you know what? Spirit loves rituals. Spirit loves rituals. We're with family, maybe. Maybe we're with friends. Maybe we're here. Maybe we're with each other. Wherever you are, and it doesn't have to be Thanksgiving Day. We're going to be out there today. Fellowship, love, understanding, compassion. Now here's the thing. When you get your journal and you start scripting, thank you, God. Thank you. You can say, thank you, God, that I have a wonderful new year. Thank you, God, that 2019 is the greatest year yet. Be sure to get the yet because you're going to have another one. <laughs> Thank you, God, for all that is. All that is. And when you see somebody that isn't into gratitude, don't criticize them. Don't criticize them. Bless them. And thank God that you have the opportunity to simply do something that they don't know you're doing. You can wrap them in love. Where thought goes, energy flows. Woo, wrap you in love. And you can send them thoughts of prayer. When you're passing an accident along the road, when you're not, oh, thank God, that wasn't me. You can say that, but you can say, God, bless these people. Bless them and let them know and feel the Christ center within them. Let them know that. You see, we can change our life with gratitude. I have changed my life and I know you have changed your life too I look around at this magnificent building how many of you continually say thank you for that building thank you for that building I go talking around to all my classes you got to go see City of Light and then I got to go into how grateful I am that this place is here. Because anybody can come and anybody can go and anybody can come and anybody can go. You're free. And you can choose to rent space. You can choose to do what you want to do here. And guess what? You're welcome. You're welcome. So we have to pass that thought of gratitude along. Now, I don't want you doing this. Hey, family, I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful. Remember when you did it? I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful. They're going to say, he wants something. <laughs> he wants something. What's he up to? What's he got? God now? Has he got God now? Right? So what we do is we simply know that the Christ in me is my power. 
Now, I'm not going to leave you without one other thing that I want to talk to you about. Praise. Praise goes along with gratitude. Praise your dog and see what happens. Praise your body and see how it starts to change. Praise the kid in you. I go stand in the mirror and I'll say, little Joycey, I want to see you. Come on, I want to see the light in your eyes. And little Joycey peeks through in the light in my eyes. And I say, little Joycey, I'm your mom now. I'm going to take care of you. And I love you and I praise you. You really did do good in the second grade. <laughs> and what you praise, praise Praise your trees, your flowers. Praise them. You know what they'll do? They'll respond. They do. I've seen, I've seen praise go to a plant, and I saw it literally shoot up with my own eyes. Now, if you can't believe that, don't go off saying Joyce tells stories that aren't true. Because it's true. Try it someday. But the truth is that you are here today. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. And divine right action, the Christ in you, is your prospering power. It's your abundant power. It's your healing power. It is your strength, and above all, it is your love. To each one of you, have a very, very happy and bountiful Thanksgiving Day. Thank you.